You guys lost seven players. You have eight new ones that have come in. Just tell me, what is it like welcoming new players to the team during COVID in a time where there are so many unknowns? Coach, why don't you start? Yeah, you know, um, and Ashlyn, uh, you know, she's been around as long as I have. So coming to practice the first couple of days, it was it was different not seeing Emily and Tia and and Tamia and, and Naomi, it was just weird because that's all I've ever known here at San Diego. Um, so we really miss those guys and the whole senior class that was here with us. Um, but, you know, we brought in a, a really good class, um, really good people. Um, they work hard every day. And with Ashlyn's leadership and Em's leadership, uh, Lindsay and Lexi, you know, we're putting this thing together. Um, and I told the group the other day, we have great experience and, and good leadership and players that have been around a little bit. And then we have this youthful enthusiasm. And that's the kind of team that can get better as the year goes on. And I see it even in every day in practice. I see it, you know, every day we're getting a little better from week to week. Yeah. So that really gives me um, hope, excitement that this group's going to continue to get better as the year goes on. Ashlyn, as coach said, you are the leader on this team. You started the most games last season as that role assuming it during a time that we're just none of us are accustomed to how have you mentally prepared yourself to lead this team yeah um i mean obviously this is all uncharted territory for all of us so i'm really just trying to be that rock um from the team just relying on my experience and you know other factors as well bringing em along with me it's so good to have her alongside me um and other girls that are returning as well so kind of just trying to embody that leadership role and lean on one another. Um, you know, obviously this is a new a new world for all of us. So like Coach Carr said, we have a really good incoming class that came in, is bringing energy. So, you know, not to say that we're unbothered by uh, what's going on, but we've definitely found a way to make it work. Merle, when you look at the rest of the girls, um, those that were here last year, those that are new, what changes have you noticed just in the composition of the team? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of a lot of young kids that are full of energy and that want to play. And I think it's definitely a different dynamic compared to last year. But um, as Coach and Ash said, like we have we have a good team together, and I'm excited to just get the season started. Hopefully, soon here. Ashlyn, what are your individual goals this season? Um, you know, to be honest, I think you know, Em and I talk. We're good friends. It's really just a win. Um, individually, we haven't talked much about that, but just relying on the team and our new girls coming in, obviously, like you said, we graduated a lot of experience. So really, we're just looking um, back upon our returners to kind of give us that energy. And the main goal right now for us as a staff and, you know, as a team of program overall is just to win games. So that's what we're looking forward to getting started to. Merle, would you say the same thing? Yes, definitely. Um, I agree with everything that Ash said. We're just trying to do our part and um, I think I'm speaking for the whole team. We've waited, what was it, like five, six months um, during quarantine back at home to come to come back here to do whatever um, we were able to do. And I mean, Coach Carr said that we had many different things in place, having to lift outside, but no one really had the right to complain because we all wanted to be here. So we were just really happy to do whatever we were able to do. Um, and I think going forward, it's gonna be the same, like playing every game. It, it kind of put everything in perspective. So yeah, we are all just grateful to be here and to be able to, to do it with each other. So I'm looking forward to that. Coach, as we close here, what can we expect to see from Santa Clara basketball this season? You know, I, I think we're gonna see a team that uh, is gritty. I think we're gonna see a team that will play together and be connected. Uh, as a, we, we use the word tethered together. I think that's something we've talked about and work on. Uh, I see a team that's unselfish and, and it's going to come after you. I, that's, the, that's the way we've been practicing and, and we want to be on attack. Um, and right now it's, it's looking really good. Um, like I said, we're, we're progressing. I've seen improvements every day uh, and I'm excited about it.